Welcome to Random and Desperate. Well, today we are going to look around the back streets of Manchester. I always find you find interesting characteristics, interesting buildings, interesting sites when you go around the back streets of any city. So come and join us on my little adventure around Manchester and we'll go around the back streets and we'll see what interesting things I can report to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Now look at this, this is the old toilet, the old fashioned toilet where you used to go underground to use the toilet. But like anything in the UK, all around Europe and all around the world, now they close the public toilets and I think it's absolutely disgrace. Because what are you supposed to do now? Okay. I suppose they made it in a, um, yeah they made it, <laughs> painted it, but this doesn't help. But it is, it's sad to see all the toilets closed down. What do you think about it? What do you think about all these toilets? What? all over the UK closing down yeah you can go in cafes you can go in supermarkets and pubs but why should you when you pay your British tax and you can't have a pee <laughs> What beautiful architecture that is. The old markets where people years ago used to actually come to sell their fish, vegetables. And this is all what has remained of the old market. The old trading post. But at least, I'll be honest, at least they've kept the architecture, at least the entrance. I know that there doesn't exist now, it's all done, let me see. It's all with flats now, flats and renovation. Now most of the back streets, what they do to develop it, they knock down all the old buildings, all this specialness, the uniqueness, and they build holiday inns, they build flats, and charge a ridiculous amount of rent. Sad to say, but I suppose this is the sign of the times. People now want flats somewhere to live, which is acceptable, especially in this era when there is no, where there's a shortage of housing, affordable houses. When years used to be shops, leisure, leisure facilities, pubs, but now <laughs> hotels. <laughs> Interesting place. What do you think that place is? Let me know. <laughs> and I'm not going in it. We're we'll going to have a look down back Turner Street. Absolutely full of graffiti. Everywhere you go, graffiti, graffiti, graffiti. You would have thought a large city like this would clean, at least clean it up or make it more presentable. Yeah. So you don't see this around the back streets. Oh, you don't see this round Manchester, especially if you go right to the centre. Interesting place. Interesting place. Well, I'm not keen, I must admit, I'm not keen on Manchester or big cities like this. Too many people. <laughs> lots of history, lots of uniqueness, lots of any special, but... <laughs> 
That's all you get now. Look at the size of these apartments. Some of these apartments, you're talking half a million quid to live in the Manchester. Big place. I'd rather go around, to be honest with you, small bits of Manchester. Small parts of Manchester. Cities, okay. I'm not a lover of big city, to be honest with you. I like the small, independent, quiet towns that are dotted around the UK. Because big cities, more trouble. Plus you get told off more <laughs> for filming. But you do see a lot of interesting things, especially the architecture of buildings, because you know what I'm like about buildings. Because I find when people years ago made these marvellous buildings, what you see now, a bit of local, bit of their history, people who put the bricks in a bit at a town, you're making history. Because people who did build these cities or build the beautiful structures are not here no more. Well, before I go, I hope you enjoyed the video, the back streets of Manchester. And there was a gentleman on there seen collapse on the floor. Now, I did film a little bit, but then I turned it off. Now, I want to give you an update. There was another gentleman there who helped and gave me some water bottle. We did ring an ambulance, but I don't think they was interested because my personal guess he was having some, let's just say, he had some substance in his body with the evidence around him. So I think all the ambulance did was ring the police and they say just to leave him, make sure he's safe and let the police or ambulance come at us whenever it's available. Because they won't put on priority, you see. Now, it makes me sad when I see people like that because there's always a reason why that gentleman there is the way he is he might have some mental issues going up upstairs he might have he might have had a bad upbringing bad luck and i i reiterate this so many times this country is disgusting with mental health absolutely disgusting there is so limited help out there you have to be really let's just say at the bottom before they even look open one eye now there should be units there should be ways to help people it's all right treating them but let's help them educate them again get them a job get them clean get them prospects otherwise they're just going to go downhill and there's only one way they're going to go well i've had my rant and do you agree with my little statement <laughs> thanks for watching people and i'll see you next time on another video with Random and Desperate.